Hi, welcome to The Carpenter Shop. We spend time working together to grow and become that person that God has created us to be when we're here in The Carpenter Shop. And I want to tell you the story today uh, about a man by the name of Guo Gantang. You don't know that name. Probably doesn't matter to you. It's nowhere on your radar. I got that. But before I do, I want to go back and I want to remind you of something that comes up over and over in the Scriptures. One of the places it comes up is in the book of Romans, chapter 8. There's a phrase there that is used to talk about how we talk to God called Abba Father. It is that, that moment where we are declaring and, and acknowledging God as our Father and His love for us and our dependence on Him. Now, let me come back to Guo. Guo spent 24 years looking for his son who had been snatched at the age of two by human traffickers in China. Guo devoted his life and thought of nothing else as he traveled the country um, going through over 30 provinces of China, out in the outskirts of China. Along the way, um, he would show pictures of his little boy as a two-year-old. Um, in his travels, he broke bones. He was robbed by thieves. He spent every bit of money that he had saved on his search for his son. He slept under bridges. When he ran out of cash, he would beg, and he lived as a homeless person trying to make ends meet so he could continue his search, and he never quit. And in the end, police found his son, the 26-year-old boy, had been searching databases using an image of the child that had been enhanced um, with a computer trying to show what the child would look like at age 26 and trying to find anybody that might connect and find him, hoping that there was someone out looking for him. Guo found his son. And they were reunited. After they were reunited, he simply said this, Now that my boy has been found, everything will only be happy from here. Basically, he spent the entire life of his son looking for him and trying to find him and bring him home. Believe it or not, that's how God deals with each of us. He never stops looking for us. He never stops loving us. And He never gives up, even when... All signs would indicate that maybe he ought to. That's the love of God. And so when you cry out to God, when you call him Father, you are acknowledging who he is, but you're acknowledging a God that loves you even more than this dad loved his son in China. You're acknowledging a God who loves you with an everlasting love and will never quit on you. It's good to remember, Jesus learned those lessons in the carpenter shop. God had placed him with an earthly father who loved him and would do anything in the world that he could to protect him and care for him and raise him right. Jesus, as the Son of God, always knew the love of God. And with one brief moment, he was separated from God, but as he called out to God, he knew that God would be there, and he knew he wasn't going to be forgotten. All of those things remind us of the importance of our Heavenly Father. You need to remember that today as well. And that's an important lesson to learn here in the Carpenter Shop.